to my channel. Today I have another video in my crock pot series, but this one is actually going to be some crock pot side dishes. So I have five super easy and delicious recipes. I don't know about you guys, but I get really lazy when it comes to my side dishes. A lot of times I will just throw a steamer bag of veggies in the microwave because I don't want to cook anything else with kids. The main dish is just enough for me. So these are just some quick and easy side dishes that you can throw in your crock pot, let them cook all day, and then when it comes time for dinner, throw them on the plate and you are good to go. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I do have a crock pot series going on right now, so you can expect a new crock pot video every couple of weeks. I do what's for dinners every single Sunday, grocery hauls, meal prep, things like that over on my channel, so don't forget to subscribe. And let's go ahead and get into these crock pot meals. For this first recipe, I'm just making some honey garlic baby carrots. These were probably my personal favorite. I'm just starting off with about a quarter cup of water in my slow cooker and then I'm adding in one bag of the baby carrots from the store. For the honey, I did not measure, but I would say it's about a couple teaspoons on there and that was perfect. I just made sure to get a good drizzle on the carrots and then I'm also adding in about an eighth a cup of brown sugar. Mine was the light kind. For for seasonings here I kept it very simple just a little bit of salt and some pepper and then I'm also adding a couple pats of butter right on top and then I just cooked this on high for about four hours and they were perfect I just served them with this tortellini alfredo which this was actually featured in a different crock pot video I will have that one linked down below but I absolutely love these baby carrots for this next recipe, I am making some mashed potatoes in the crock pot. Now this has to be one of my all time favorite crock pot hacks. I know so many people that don't know that you can make mashed potatoes in your crock pot and this comes in super handy when you are hosting Thanksgiving and your stove is really busy and you just don't have the extra room or you're just very busy and you don't want to have to do this at the last minute. You can do all of the prep work ahead of time, throw them in your crock pot and it will be good to go when you are ready to actually mash up the potatoes and get everything ready for your dinner. So this has got to be one of my all-time favorite crock pot meals. So here you just see me cutting up a bunch of potatoes on this night. I did have quite a variety and then I'm just spraying my slow cooker with some olive oil and you're just gonna dump all of these potatoes right in there. You can make a big batch ahead of time and it's so nice to just have them on hand and then I'm just filling up my slow cooker making sure that all of the potatoes are covered now in my crock pot they take about four hours on high but it is going to vary a little bit sometimes it will salt the water you don't really have to it's just completely optional and then you'll know that they are done once they are fork tender just like if you were making them on the stove so go ahead and get them all drained off and then you're going to be ready to just mash them up and make them like your normal mashed potatoes so I'm just dumping those potatoes right back into my crock pot. This also keeps them really nice and warm for serving. And then I'm just adding in a couple pats of butter. I'm gonna add in some sour cream as well as some Greek yogurt. Sometimes I will do all sour cream, but I was trying to be a little bit healthier, so I just added in some plain Greek yogurt. I was pairing these mashed potatoes with gravy that night, so I was trying to skip the extra calories here and make it just a little bit healthier. Of course, I'm adding in some salt and pepper, but this is definitely the part where you can play around, add whatever you like to your mashed potatoes. There's no rhyme or reason here. I'm adding in a splash of milk, and then I'm just gonna mash all of these up. You could also also use your hand mixer if you want them to be like super creamy and really well mixed but I just wanted them a little bit on the chunkier side so I just used my regular hand masher.
Once you have your mashed potatoes all ready to go, you can just put them on low or on the keep warm setting. And this is gonna keep your potatoes nice and warm until you're ready to serve them. And this is where it comes in really handy for hosting like Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas. You can just have them sitting there and they're all ready to go when everything else comes out of the oven. So it's just really nice not to have to worry about this at the last moment. So if you have never tried making mashed potatoes in your slow cooker, definitely give this one a shot. It's definitely my favorite way to make mashed potatoes. For this next dish, I am making some loaded green beans. This is a perfect side dish for a nice little veggie. So I'm just starting off with some frozen green beans. These were the extra fine green beans that I picked up at Aldi. I think this was a one pound package. You can use either fresh or frozen for this recipe and it will be perfect. I sprayed my crock pot and I'm dumping in the green beans. And then I'm adding in about half of a yellow onion. I did make sure to soften this in my microwave because I wanted to make sure that the onion was really well cooked so I'm dumping that in there and getting it a little bit mixed together before adding in the rest of my ingredients for seasonings I'm just adding in a little bit of salt and pepper and then for the liquid here I'm adding in about a cup of chicken broth but you could definitely do veggie broth instead and then of course I have to add some garlic in here I did quite a bit of garlic a couple big scoops of the minced garlic and I'm just getting all of this mixed together before adding in the rest of my ingredients so I decided to use the real bacon bits but you could definitely cook up some bacon on the stove and maybe even add a little bit of that extra grease in there I think that would be super good and it would really make Make these very flavorful but I'm just getting a little bit of those bacon bits mixed in there and then since I didn't have any of that bacon fat I just decided to add a little dollop of butter on top I cook these on high for about like three to four hours and they were really good they were perfect paired with the pork loin gravy that I made in a different crock pot meal so this was definitely one that I would recommend giving a try our whole family really enjoyed these green beans For this next recipe, I'm making some baked beans in the crock pot. These were very delicious. I absolutely loved how these turned out. So for this recipe, I am using dried beans, but you could also use the canned beans and you can just skip these first couple of steps. But this is about two cups of Great Northern beans. So if you're using the regular canned beans, I would say you're gonna want about three cans of Great Northern beans. But if you're using the dry, go through, measure out the two cups, and then you're gonna pick out anything that doesn't look quite right. Once you get all of that picked through, you're gonna want to make sure to rinse and drain your beans off really well. Don't skip this step, it's pretty important when it comes to beans. Now I am no pro when it comes to making beans like this. I normally use the canned beans, but I am just covering these beans up with water. I did make sure they were fully covered, and then I'm boiling them for one minute. After that one minute is up, I am setting my timer for one hour, and I'm gonna let all of that liquid just absorb into those beans until they get nice and soft, and then I'm ready to move on to actually making my beans. While those beans are soaking, I'm just getting my sauce mixed up. So I just have about half a cup of brown sugar. And then I only had about an eighth a cup of barbecue sauce left, but I would actually recommend about a quarter cup of that. I'm also adding in one tablespoon of molasses. This is just gonna add a lot of flavor to these beans. Don't skip that one. And then I'm adding in about a teaspoon of mustard. For the seasonings here, I'm adding in about one teaspoon of salt and then about one teaspoon of black pepper. Now if you are using canned beans, I would probably lower your salt a little bit, but since I was using dried beans, I did want to make sure I got all of that added. And then you're just going to mix all of this together with about half a cup of water. Get all of that mixed together really well and this is going to be the sauce for the beans. Now once those beans have completely soaked and they're getting to be kind of soft, you're gonna go ahead and just drain them off. 
add them right back into your crock pot. I chose to use my smaller crock pot this time around and I'm dumping those beans right in there. Now I did decide to add in about half of a yellow onion. I did soften this up just a tiny bit in my microwave just to make sure it got nice and soft. And then I'm adding in some extra garlic powder because you guys know I really love garlic. I did add in just a little bit of bacon bits that I had on hand. Unfortunately, I did not have very many. And then I'm also adding in that sauce that you just saw me mix up. Now I cook these on low for about like six to eight hours. I can't remember exactly how long I cook them. I think the only thing that I would do differently is I wanted a little bit more sauce here. So for me, I like a lot of sauce with my beans. So you could totally like double this recipe or make a little bit of extra sauce if you want. But then I just cooked those up and they were so good. My daughter in particular really enjoyed these. She's one and she has been eating them like crazy. For this next recipe, I am making some crock pot stuffing. I have so much of this that I need to get used up. So I'm just starting off with a little drizzle of olive oil in my pan. And then I'm adding in about half of a yellow onion with a couple stalks of celery. I did make sure that this was really finely diced. I'm adding a little bit of salt and pepper to this. And then I'm just gonna be sauteing them up until they're pretty soft. I definitely did not want this to be crunchy in my stuffing. So this is what it should look like when it is all done. And then we're gonna move over to the crock pot. So I'm using my smaller crock pot again for this one. I'm adding in a about one cup of chicken broth along with one tablespoon of butter. I wanted to get that really well mixed up before adding in the rest of my ingredients. Now it's time to add in the onion and the celery. I should mention that you could totally add mushrooms here as well, but my husband does not like mushrooms at all, so I left those out. And then I'm adding in about half a bag of this brown berry stuffing. I just had about half a bag left to use up on hand, so I'm mixing that up. But of course you can make a bigger batch of this if you want a bigger batch. And then you're just gonna mix this up and you're gonna cook this on high. Mine took about like four hours, I would say. We definitely like our stuffing on the more done side. We like it a little bit crispy. I did end up taking the lid off for about the last half an hour just to kind of let a little bit of that excess moisture out and let it kind of crisp up a bit, but we really did like this recipe. All right guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you have not already. I do have a crock pot series going on right now. I post a new what's for dinner every single Sunday. Lots of meal prep, grocery hauls, and things like that over on my channel. So definitely make sure you're subscribed. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. As a young girl, it feels we're mine. We played hide and seek for hours. Raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free Without a 